Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving an equation with complex numbers or imaginary numbers. We have x plus 1 over x equals 2i and we're going to be solving for x values. Now you probably know from algebra or analysis or if you've dealt with inequalities before, hopefully you do know that there is a minimum value for x plus 1 over x. If x is positive, of course. If x is positive, then x plus 1 over x needs to be greater than or equal to 2. Now, you can easily check that by plugging in some values such as 1, 1 1.5, 3 halves, you know, 2, whatever. You're going to notice that this is always going to be greater or equal to 2, like I said earlier, if x is positive. Now, what happens if x is negative? Then you're going to get values that are less than or equal to negative 2. In other words, it can't be on that interval between negative 2 and 2. Now, but we don't have a 2 here, we have a 2i, so that's pretty complex already, right? So I, I hope you don't expect x to be a real number, it's not possible, right? So, remember this part because we're going to talk about this in a little bit. But let me start with the first method, I'll be presenting two methods, by the way. For my first method, I'm just going to make a common denominator or just multiply both sides by x. That's going to give me x squared plus 1 equals 2ix. If you multiply by x, x is going to cancel out. And then you can bring everything to the left and write this as x squared minus 2ix plus 1 equals 0. I want to put the x term in the middle because I want to write this as a quadratic in standard form and then Guess what? Use the quadratic formula to solve it. Let's do it. So the quadratic formula gives us the following. x equals negative b. The coefficient of x is negative 2i, so its opposite is going to be 2i. Plus minus the square root of, you've got to be careful here because you're going to be squaring some imaginary numbers. So it's going to be negative 2i squared, which is 4i squared, minus 4ac, and that would be just a minus 4 because a is 1, and all of that is divided by 2. Make sense? Let's go ahead and simplify this. i squared equals negative 1. So this gives us negative 4 minus 4, which is negative 8. So x becomes 2i plus minus the square root of negative 8 divided by 2. And notice that square root of negative 8 is basically the square root of 8 times i with a plus minus sign because there are two square roots in the complex world, but the plus minus is already there, so it's going to be taken care of. So I can write this as 2i plus minus 2 root 2i, which is the square root of 8, by the way, divided by 2. And if you divide everything by 2, you get the x as i plus minus root 2i. But there's much uh, there's a much better way to write it because they, both of these terms are imaginary. We can just add them and write this as 1 plus minus root 2 all multiplied by i. So don't get me wrong, this is not the same as 1 plus minus root 2 times i, which is a complex number in the form a plus bi, but in this case a is 0, we only have a pure imaginary number. It's just a multiple of i in other words. Make sense? So this is not the same thing. Great. So we got the x value and what were we looking for? The x values. So we got the answer, right? But does that work? Let's test it out real quick. We need to find what x plus 1 over x is going to equal. So let's go ahead and find 1 over x first. And what am I going to use for x? Let's use the positive version. I don't know if it's going to be easier the other way around, but let's just use this. I don't think it would matter. And then 1 over x is just going to be the reciprocal. Now, don't, be, don't get this wrong. You're not going to multiply by 1 minus root 2i because that wouldn't be the conjugate. It's kind of like as i, think about it as i, and multiply by the conjugate of i, which is negative i, isn't it? So multiply by negative i, multiply by negative i. Because i times negative i is negative i squared, and i squared equals negative 1, so this is positive 1, so we, we don't have to worry about these. Make sense? So from here, 1 over x becomes negative i over 1 plus root 2. We don't care about that, but we can rationalize the denominator multiplying the top and the bottom by the radical conjugate, and that gives us negative i times 1 minus root 2. Divide by 1 minus 2 from difference of 2 squares, which is a negative 1. The negatives cancel out, and we end up with this. 
So now I have the x and I have the 1 over x. Let's go ahead and add them. x plus 1 over x equals, what is my x value? 1 plus, right here, 1 plus root 2 multiplied by i. And my 1 over x value is just going to be 1 minus root 2 multiplied by i. Since bo they both have i, we can just add these. 1 plus root 2 plus 1 minus root 2 all multiplied by i. Root 2 cancels out and we end up with 2i. Yes, it checks. Great. Awesome. So our solution is valid. We checked it. I mean, you don't have to do this every time, but especially if you're dealing with radical equations or rational equations, you have to make sure that uh, you're following the domain. Anyways, so this works and the other one is going to work as well. But let's go ahead and t uh, take a look at an alternative. We could also do this. So I guess I could call this 1b because it's not the second method yet. We could also do the following. Now we have x plus 1 over x is equal to 2. I'm thinking uh, x and 1 over x are kind of related, you know. So I'm just going to assume that x is in this form, a pure imaginary. How do I know that? Well, I kind of know that it works because if you add a multiple of i and another multiple of i, their sum is going to be something like 2i. Make sense? But if you use instead something like an a plus b i, you're going to notice quickly that a needs to be 0. So it's going to bring you basically to the same point, but we're saving some time here. Anyways, x plus 1 over x is just going to be b i plus, by the way, speaking of b i, a plus b i, hopefully you got to see my first video, which is kind of like an uh, intro, in channel introduction, uh, I'm going to upload my first lecture video pretty soon, so make sure to keep an eye on it. The channel's name is A plus B I, and it's all about complex numbers. Anyways, a little bit of commercial break. Let's continue. 1 over X is just going to be 1 over B I. Obviously, I want to get rid of the I at the bottom, so let's multiply this by negative I again. Some people will multiply by I. That's okay, but that's just going to bring a negative at the bottom, which I don't like. It's up to you. The top is going to be minus i, and at the bottom you're going to get negative b i squared. Negative i squared is positive 1, so it's just going to be b. And then if you make a common denominator, it's just going to be b i minus 1 i divided by b, or b minus 1 i over b. Now remember, this sum is supposed to equal 2 i, so this is supposed to equal 2 i, which means b minus 1 over b is equal to 2. Now you got to remember, oh, by the way, I messed up. It's supposed to be b squared, not b. Okay, so what, what, what ended up happening is we assume it's in this form and it worked because now we got an equation. Obviously, b is a real number, and if you cross multiply, b squared minus 1 is 2b, or not 2b. Allow me to make that joke. It's been a while. And then you get this equation, and from here, if you solve it using a quadratic formula, you get 1 plus minus root 2. And since we assume that x is b i, x can be written as 1 plus minus root 2 times i. Make sense? Awesome. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. The second method will be quick. Okay, for a second method, I'm going to do the same thing. And then put this 2 i x and put the 1 on the right hand side. Make sense? And then I'm going to do the following. Subtract 1 from both sides, and I'll tell you in a little bit why I'm doing it. Why aren't you adding 1 to both sides? Because I want to complete the square. But is that how you complete the square? Yes, because negative 1 is i squared. And guess what? This becomes x minus i squared equals square root of 2i squared. And then when you take the square roots, you get x mi minus i equals plus minus root 2i x equals 1 plus minus root 2 all multiplied by i is going to give you the exact same thing. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.